Hey guys, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, keep doing what you do, and let's get to it. So in the last video, I unboxed these and showed it to you. Uh, and instead of using the hardware that came with it to attach them, I actually went to Lowe's and got some of this, I don't know what you call it, slotted angle iron is what I call it. I got two five foot pieces and two four foot pieces. And then just with the angle grinder from Harbor Freight, where I get everything, I made a frame and I used the pre-existing holes to attach to this. There were two spots where I had to drill. You see these two in the center didn't line up exactly. So I just took a drill and drilled those holes in there. I actually need to come back and put washers on all of this. Uh, or some of them like you can see that doesn't completely cover that hole. I would feel I mean there are enough of them on here that it's not going anywhere, but I want to come back and put washers uh, Also made the frame a little bit wider so that some people when they do this they take the these legs off I just left them on um, I may end up taking them off. I don't know yet and then now the plan is to mount them i'm going to insert a little clip that i shot the other day with the hardware that i'm going to use to mount them to the top of the forerunner on the roof rack it's a little it's some little bolts that came with the roof rack um, but i'll end up using this probably like this put these feet on here like this up at at the bottom if i want to continue to be able to do that i'll I need to put them like this so that I have holes to attach to the roof rack. I'll probably have to play with this. I might have to do it like this so that I can access and see that'll just make a little foot to put it up there. All right, I'll come back whenever I get that done. Let you guys see how it turned out. So I don't know if you saw me, I say so in every clip. I don't know if you guys saw me mount my roof rack. Uh, there's a video out there, but it comes with these little nuts like this that slide into here and then slide on like that. I have four of these, so I don't know if the solar panels will line up exactly. I may have to get some other brackets or something, but I think that's going to be the solution for getting them mounted on here. We got her up here. So everything worked out the way I had planned. Um, had to, you know, improvise along the way like I always do. But uh, we got her on here. It is not moving. And you see how I built these little feet and then used that little piece that I showed you to keep it on there. Got a washer on there. Uh, may need to upgrade that washer game a little bit, uh, but we'll see. But yeah, it's it's not rattling, not shaking. You got four feet on it, and got it kind of centered up here. So yeah, the sun should be coming over the house <laughs> anytime now. Uh, I'm gonna wire the stuff in, and then uh, probably take her out to the ridge and charge up the batteries. But that'll be in another video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the ridge.